Well, anyway, guys, as you know, my romanticals went mad. Look at them. So I'm going to dip them in, drop a load in here, and uh, we'll see how we go. There's quite a few in there. That lot are leggy ones. I've got some deeper root trainers I'm going to put. If not, I'll, what I'll do is I'll put two in a pot and let them come through because there's quite a few people who want them. <sighs> Alrighty, well, guys, I've been going. I'm home. I've been home all afternoon. I've been putting, trying to put a TV up on a on a wall, a bracket on a wall, and because it's uh, been battered and that, you can't find a place to screw into. So a bit of a nightmare, right? Parsnip time. It is that time. I'm going to get them, and you know how I do them. This is what I do. I chip my parsnips. They're guaranteed, nearly. Ah. So I've got just seeds. They're last year's parsnips. So what I'm going to do, I don't know whether I can put you any. Sorry about this, guys. Sorry about this. Bit awkward position. Ah. Sorry about me being half naked. I just got out of shower. Right. Yeah. These are uh, parsnips white gem. They're called. And there's, I think, look, because they're last year's seeds, I'm going to just about tip the whole bleeding packet in. I bought them by the gram. As you can see, right, they're in there. Bit of spray. This over the top. Should now. Then we put my blue on the <laughs> Just one of them days to say it, Sally. Yeah, you almost get one of them blood. Oh, goodness sake. I look like I left the lid bloody downstairs. Right. So, as you get it, the lid's going to go on. That will seal. And I'll probably sit it on one of the warm pads up there just to get it going. And then you'll notice, I'll show you, you'll notice a little chick come out. And what I normally do. Is if it's a warmish day down in the allotment, I'll go down there and I'll put the chits directly into the ground. All right, now a little clip. Stay safe, guys. Keep happy. Uh, my wife's just been telling me that the allotment association are having a lot of trouble on another site. There's a lot going on, and I, I can sympathise with the woman. Actually, might get. I might have to send her an email. All right, bye. All right, as you can gather, I'm indoors at the moment. I'm going to, I'll just maybe put some more peppers into there. They're long peppers, but my aubergines are just dry, popped through. Parsnips are in here chitting. They'll take a few days. This is kohlrabi, and I now want to put that into these three or four in each one. And the beetroot really should have gone down the allotment, but I've got some more trays. This tray here is going to be, I'll start off seeds, uh, tomatoes, all the way along. Right, right across, so I'll show you the end result, but I'm running out of time today. Very windy. It's now trying to rain. You know, so that's the weather. Alrighty, oh, they're the cool well, they've all been bashed in, they've been bashed in fairly low, so they will uh, start up again. I'll give my good walk one in a minute. But you always have to remember if they get leggy, drop them in. Right guys, as you can go, I've uh, coming down here. Just uh, done my kohlrabi. I've got a spare tray here which I'll probably go with my aubergines which I know pop for it, come through there. Alright, so I'm now going to soak this, fill this up with water, soak that in and put my tomatoes in. I'm listening to Trace's allotment here, watching that. Right, off we go. Alright, guys, that's now sitting in water. I will do something like. I'm going to do, I don't know how many actually. So it'll be like this. This is how I go. I'll put a line in. I'll drop the seeds off. Drop the seeds in, if you can understand. And then just give it a smear with it. I've, I've left my woman my top. Glass top <laughs> outside, but I can't go outside. That's absolutely hammering it down, guys. Oh, sorry, I'm listening to Nick the Gardener. Right, Wilma, BF, 
old seeds, very old seeds. These are 17, 15, October 15. These I got from Wilkinson's when they were open that time and I think they reduced them down to 10p a packet. Yeah, October 15, right, so they're going in. Yeah, crap, I don't know where I got them in the packet from Amazon. And there's Big Daddy's, Raspberry Oxars, uh, Super Sweets, 100, Glacier, Primamid, which are like a Jersey Devil. Good results last year, they were really big. And uh, normal bog standard, my man decided him. And I might do another one, I might do it at gardens that I, I do love them. So I've got seven rows, I'll go on there and I'll show you at the end. As you can see, I've put plenty of seeds in, I don't worry because I, I can give a lot away. It's going to be very interesting and I'm actually, I'm going to keep the seeds from next year. There you go, that's my first row. Now it's going to take me ages to do the rest. Well, I made a bit of a move. Big Daddy's, empty packet. So we'll have to find another variety. Isn't sometimes how small the woman's seeds can be on tomatoes. These are sweet, super sweet. Obviously, they're going to be like a cherry tomato. There's only a few, but uh, they're very small. Right, guys, I just found a pack of Jersey Devils, so I've put them in. And now I've got my Mamandas, as you can see, I've kept my own seeds. So, we will see. Bugger to get that. There's a bugger to get them out. Oh. Normally it's a bugger to get them out of your kitchen room. Oh, going to be a nightmare. Look at this lot. Let's even wet it and put it in as strips. Right. Right, there you go, guys. And as you can see, my Amanda's, which I kept, I had put in the kitchen room. <laughs> I couldn't get it out. I couldn't be bothered to wet it. So I'm now going to give them a bit of a spray and I'll give them a cover. Well, there you go, guys. It's, uh, my tomatoes are all in, as I show you. Peppers, I've got my aubergines, parsnips, I've just checked, but they'll take a while. They might not work. I've got marigolds in here, I'm hoping to start coming through as a foo. And I think now what I've got to do with these, well they seem to slowed up. So I think I might try and give them a little drop of uh, weak tomato feed. They're coming along very slowly. But I need to now get my glass cover on this to give the tomatoes a boost. Well, it's a cold day today, I haven't been done a lot. Because we've got, oh, I've been having, having things done. So stay safe everybody. Take care. Bye for now.